In this video we are going to set up your gears that you created in Gear Generator so that they can be cut on the laser cutter. The program we're going to use to do that is called RDWorks. So open up RDWorks and we're going to import the gears. File, Import, you need to open up the USB drive where they're saved, find them, Gear 1, double click, and I'll scroll out using the mouse wheel. I'm going to group these all separately. Edit group because what we have is this gear is separate from the circle that is for the hole for connecting it onto the piece of MDF or plywood. So we need to group them together so when we move them they move together. Edit group. Move those out of the way. File import gear 2. Group those. Import the last one, D3. Edit group. Set this up so they're reasonably close but not touching, so that when I laser cut them out, I have them all separate. I'm just going to create a rectangle to represent my piece of MDF that's going to fit around it. I'm going to change its color to blue. Click on it, change its color to blue. Now the different colors allow us to create different cutting speeds and percentage of power. So the blue is just going to represent the MDF or the plywood. Now I need to get that size down so that it's around probably two grid lines well, or about 20 millimeters bigger than where my gears are. I'm also going to round it up because you need to write down the size. So we should be all right with 250. And I'll make that 330, I think. So that's fine. Now that measurement is really important that you write that down because that's the size that you're going to have to do for your MDF or plywood. So it's going to be 250 millimeters along the x-axis and 350 millimeters along the y-axis. It's really important that when we place your piece of MDF or plywood into the laser cutter, we have it in this orientation so that we cut it out correctly. So it's important that you label which way this needs to go in relation to the X and Y axis. Okay, now what we're going to do is add some text or your initials onto it so that if we mess cut a whole lot of gears out, we know which ones belong to you. So click on this icon here, text, the size 15, down the bottom for height, and just put on your initials or, or name it. It's probably better just to be initials, otherwise it's going to take too long to do the laser cut and engraving. Now I'm going to change that to red because it's going to have different properties. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And I need five of those. Control C, Control V. pick those up and put them into my gears. You might want to spend a little bit of time getting these exactly in the right place that are all symmetrical. Now the next thing we need to do Let's set up the speed and power for the different colors. So black is going to be completely cut out, so we're going to cut out the gears. Now that needs to be set to 55% power. So double click, 
Next is minimum power, 55, and the speed is 8 millimeters a second. I'm just going to move the red up to priority 2. So the red is going to be the engraving of your initials. Because when you go into this, these numbers could be different to what you want. They may be the same, someone might have been on the machine or that program before you and it's all ready and it's going to be the same but you need to check. In my case they are wrong. So for the engraving that needs to be set up at 15% power and 50 millimeters a second. You see up here it says output, no, we have to change that to yes. So I double clicked that and changed it to yes because we want to actually engrave the initials. But the blue is on no, that stays no. But I'm just going to also change that to 15. So we're changing the blue to 15% power and 100 millimeters a second, but it is no. So just to reiterate, Black is 55% power and 8 millimeters a second. And yes, red is 15% power and 50 millimeters a second. Output yes. And blue is 15% power, 100 millimeters a second, and no. And all of them should say cut. Now, the next thing you have to do is we're just going to save it as a U file. So save to U file which ends up going on the USB drive. So give it a name and save it. We don't know what that says, but it's saved OK. Now that job is correctly done. Just make sure you write down that measurement. Then take a screenshot of your ID works page like this print it out and hand it in with your MDF or plywood ready for laser cutting. Thanks for watching another video by Digital Dovetail. Like and subscribe.